So we've destroyed the second castle. We've got a whole new world ahead of us to explore and investigate. But I don't uh, want anything to do road. with it. Star Road time. <laughs> Star Road time. Well, almost Star Road time. We still have to clear out the, uh, the other ghost house. Yeah, that's true. But first, oh. Area 51. Free one up. All right. And because you you popped it open while you were still small, so it registered as a mushroom. Yeah, that's fine. I don't remember what this ghost house too well, so hopefully I don't screw anything up. The only thing I remember is the boss. Okay. Bye, Yoshi. See you later. Bye, bye. Ah, ghost wheels. The wheel of ghost. The wheel of ghost sounds like a great name for a TV show. The wheel, the wheel of ghosts. It's a new uh, horror-themed uh, trivia show. Every Friday on Boo. Oh, I can't carry the spring through the door. No, I think we, we tried that earlier with the uh, the P switch as well. It doesn't yeah. Really go through. I, I remembered that, but I forgot. <laughs> if that makes any sense. <laughs> uh -oh. Strangely enough, that's the most sensible thing I think we're, it's going to come out of our mouths all, all this recording session. <laughs> Possibly. Okay, because we've got those coins and P switch is over here. There's lots of doors. Now, oh, I gotta poop that and go through this door. But I think this is the regular exit? That is definitely the regular exit. But that does put you over 100 stars. Yes, it does. And you know what that means. Maybe. Bonus points! It means we found the inspiration for uh, Luigi's Mini Games and Mario DS. What Holy of heck. it, man? What the heck? What of it? What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> How amazing You're am I? <laughs> Night of the Wind strikes again. I have literally never done that before. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's on recording now. <laughs> Everyone can That's... see. I conquered the <laughs> bonus game. <laughs> that was freaking awesome. Alright. No, Mario, where are you going? Down, Mario. No, Mario, where are you going? Yeah, there is a second exit here somewhere. I'm pretty sure. Like, I'm, pr uh, I'm I... pretty sure all the ghost house have two exits. Yes. It's I mean, just a matter of finding them. Well, I mean, I already know for a fact that th this ghost house is the first possible entrance into Star Road, so yeah. definitely second exit somewhere. Oh, God. Somewhere out there. Somewhere inside a ghost house. Way up high. That was a terrible idea. Didn't quite work. I know there's a. Da, da, da. I forget. What is that spring for? That spring has something to do with the secret exit. And, well, no, I don't think it has to do with the secret exit, but. Or maybe it's just to get past the big boo. I don't Pretty remember. I'm sure, but. I feel as though there's something else that we're not getting, but. Because there's that little thing down there. Oh. Yeah, that's, where, that's where one of the other doors goes. There's like two other doors in this room. Right. And, and there's all these spin blocks and. So that makes those appear, and you can get through that door. Gives you coinage after weaving through ghosts. You just have to make sure not to collect the coin in the lead. Uh oh. Oh 
no. Well, that could have gone better. And now you are tiny. And, and now, now you're I'm dead. dead. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Applause. Applause right, by Lady uh, Gaga. <laughs> let's see what's let's see what's through this pipe. A it's secret. A donut secret. A donut secret. Mm. Donut Delicious. Secrets. Whoops. I spat that in the wrong direction, because this is icy. This is way slipperier than slippery slipperier than I remember. Well, we should go right at home, shouldn't he? Yeah, that's true. He, he doesn't have his butter shoes in this game, though. Not he had yet. it before, though. No, he technically well. Yeah, he didn't have it in this this particular game, but he did have it already by this point. The that's original I'd like Mario. To, I'd both like to Mario point out twos, actually. That I'd like to point out that the ice physics affect the chompers here. They are they are very slippery chompers. Well, thankfully you have a Yosh. Thankfully I do. But I I never realized that before. We're just learning all sorts of things. <laughs> <laughs> Bye Yoshi. Goodbye Yoshi. I have to be obese. I'm love. Let's fly, let's fly away. Well, I guess... did not need it. <laughs> no, not really. Oh well, I'm here now. Well, at the very least, we can just go back to the secret area. Uh, uh, I forgot you're immune to fireballs. Fireballs? Yum! Yum. That cartoon's awesome. Yes, it is. I do- I have told you before that I have that on DVD. Yeah, no, we were just talking normally during that time, but yes. Yeah. Never been in a video that we really talked about it before. I've only seen a few little clips here and there. I've never had, had the opportunity to really get to sit down and see the whole thing. It- It's actually not a bad thing to just sit down and watch because the Mario World cartoons are half episodes. Because it shared a time slot with Captain N. So yeah, that's right. Half of the show was Mario Brothers. Half of the sh uh, Mario World, half of the show was Captain N. And that DVD is hilarious because it's just like the end product of someone splicing the Captain N section off of the Mario World episode. <laughs> because some of the episodes actually end with the Captain N logo coming in. Wow. Oh gee, that was a t that was a risky balls jump. Risky maneuvers. Right, so yeah. Half it in, just half it in. I know Captain N and Mario World got its own DVD release together. I don't know if Captain N has his own solo DVD though. I haven't checked. Oh son of a. Biscuit. All right. Well, let's. Uh, no profanity, let's... Marshall. I'm sorry. Let me just, let me rephrase that. Son of a potato. I prefer son of a cookie cutter. Appropriate. Also, well, another. Another favorite phrase of mine is holy granola bar. That makes sense too. Those ghosts are getting the better of you. <laughs> Meanwhile, in pipe place. <laughs> well, that basically yeah, it just loops you around. Yeah, it's you a, don't have it's to a go little to the pipe again. I suppose I could come join you in ghost house area. Yes. Yeah. Help, help me, I'm in need of help right now. Don't worry, Luigi is here to assist. Like in Mario Maker 2, and how it <laughs> keeps reminding you that Luigi's there to assist. Hey bro, you stink at these games, want me to help? You're terrible. 
Well, Mario, you're sure are the worst at your own game. <laughs> okay. I believe spring is a red herring of sorts. And it's really just kind of there to help you over Big Ghost. I don't think it's got anything to do with anything. Maybe. Maybe. But these ghost houses are purposefully designed to just mess with you. Yeah. Make you question reality. Alright. Also, one weird thing to point out is that with Luigi, due to the, like, the sprite palette limitations, sometimes his skin is green in certain spots. <laughs> Because it, like, you can see it briefly more on the small Luigi, I think. Yeah, it's no, like... I, I think I, yeah, I do know the small Luigi one, but I, at this point, I think we should just skip the coins. Yeah, whatever. Where's this go? It goes out here. But is here really here? I don't know. Let's try this again. Actually, I think it does go back to the same one. No, this goes down here. That is just a one. It's a one. Okay. So that means that the actual P switch. I think you might have to come all the way back over here uh, and hit the P switch. You know what? I think you're right. I believe there is an extra hidden door. It's all coming back to me. Boomerang. Ghost made a face at me. I don't appreciate it. Alright, can you make it past the wheel? Oh, uh, boo. <laughs> no, no, wait, I can go to that. Wheel of spooky. Wheel of spooks? There you go. Alright. Alright. Drop. Survey says. Oh. Nope. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm gonna at it. Not quite. Oh! Why, 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 why? Go, go through the door. Go through that door. This door? Yes. Okay. Alright, so yeah. Uh, yeah, hit, hit this. You might as well just hit the switch, yeah. Okay. Just uh, use a springboard and get over. Or 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 that that one too. Just jump. All right. So, yeah. Some great. Go 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 in there. In here. Going uh get the P switch. Okay. Gotta get past the wheel of spooks again. Yep. The ghost carousel, or Ferris wheel rather. Carousel is just a sideways Ferris wheel, really. Now I'm just thinking of Toy Story 4. I haven't seen that. Oh, you should. Pretty good. I don't know. I, I kind of right. was off put right, on so, seeing it. Alright, so um, go down. You gotta get. Well, yeah, it from right there. Go ahead and hit the P switch. Hit the blocks underneath. Can I do that? No, no, not those blocks, the ones on top. While the thing is still there. The, oh, 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 yeah, 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 okay. These, these blocks are over here. Yep. Okay. Plant. Okay. Plant. Ah, okay. but you need to still have the P-switch yeah. going. Yeah. I'm about to run out of time. Oh, no! Uh, speed run. Nope. Aww. Oh. Well, the good news is we figured it out. The bad we, news is... You figured it out, because you remembered, probably. Well, no, I didn't remember. It was actually a case of needing to figure it out, which is actually kind of nice. Problem solving. Alright. And cheap. Seems like the right way to deal with this. Hmm. 
Whee! There's a ceiling there. Oh. No flight allowed. First you restrict my Yoshis, then you say I can't fly. What kind of game is this? It's a ghost house. You have to play by its rules. It's like, it's like playing Sonic the Hedgehog, but then Marble Zone tells you you can't run. Marble Zone tells you you're not allowed to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> But personally, I enjoy Marble Zone. Yeah, no, it's not... It, it was... Sonic 1 was definitely uh, an interesting title, for sure. Sonic 1 was a grand experiment that started off several other games. Hmm. Oh, oh. Sonic Ghost. Yeah, I guess you could probably just fly up there, huh? Well, of course, I need to make sure that I... Cape does not abide by your, your rules. Oh yeah, and there there is a boss in this, isn't there? Yeah, this is the only thing that I actually remembered. I, f I forgot about this guy. I like saw this guy in like a Mario ROM hack, and I. F ah! <laughs> I thought he was like something that someone made at first. Like, I forgot is, there were alternate bosses it, in some parts of the game. Why is this specific ghost house? Why? <laughs> Sparky, why? I don't know, but I need to go back in there and get my cape feathers. <laughs> you might as well also hit the center for just the extra light. Yeah, that's true. That too. I do wonder if they intentionally put in the top secret area as a, um, a developer thing and they decided, yeah, we'll just leave that there. It seems like the kind of thing that they would just stick in for testing purposes, but I guess they figured it was... I mean, it's like a really useful area right at the beginning of the game. Mm. So I figured it was probably something for developer testing, but then they just decided to leave it in. You know, while you go ahead and do this, I will actually check the, uh, the wiki. Mario so, uh, wiki. Let's see. Well, oh, that didn't go as planned. I need this back, please. Let's not get hit. Like some kind of dope. That would... Like that. Well. Guess I gotta do this the hard way. Uh, did you take the mushroom uh, earlier? Nope. Nope. I guess I can't do this the hard way. It's your turn. <laughs> uh, there's no there's no notes on the trivia section, so... Ah. But, it did mention that top secret area in the uh, GBA version is a smiling hill over here. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. That is another cool detail about this game. Is that, as you complete levels and venture through the world, <laughs> the world changes around you a little. Mm-hmm. Like, islands form, and bridges show up, and... It's all... It's, it's it's a very nice game. It's a very neat game to explore. Yep. Wow. Honestly, probably one of the... My more appreciated uh, Super Nintendo games. Because I didn't have a Super Nintendo growing up. So I missed out on a lot of pretty awesome games until the Game Boy Advance showed up. So, so I mucked that up. I'm gonna go back. I, 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 
extra insurance. Yep. What would the insurance in Mario in, in Mario's universe be called? What do you think? One up insurance? <laughs> that that seems apt. apt. Uh, I'm gonna be safe because I really wanna make sure that I keep this stuff. That's not too hard to do. I want to make sure I have at least uh, a few extra hits. And this is kind of like a perilous boss, too. Because if you screw up too much, you fall through the floor. It's basically like Bowser uh, in Mario 3. Yeah. Why was this so difficult? Well, it didn't seem that difficult there. That was like a 22 minute video of just one level. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. But hey, we have access to Star Road now. Hooray! Which is its own kind of magic.